Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. One person is dead, two others hospitalized from an overnight shooting spree that lasted just 17 minutes. This is the suspect, 28-year-old Toby Stangle, as he was taken out of the Pearl City Police Station and transported to Honolulu Police Headquarters. The crime scene stretched from Kapahulu all the way to Aiea. Police say it began at 12.43 this morning at the intersection of Kapahula and Kapi'olani. That's when investigators say 28-year-old Stangle walked up to two vehicles and fired a semi-automatic handgun, but missed a 21-year-old man driving a car. Police say Stangle then shot a 54-year-old woman multiple times, once in the head. She later died at Queens Medical Center. A 16-year-old girl in the car with the woman was not injured. According to police, the shooting spree continued west on the H1 near Bishop Museum when Stangle rear-ended a car and then shot the 24-year-old female in the driver in the chest. Police say Stangle also shot a 38-year-old man in the leg after he slowed down to see what was going on. The woman was taken to hospital in critical but stable condition. The man was transported in good condition. And at about 12.58 in the morning, police say Stangle fired at a police officer on the Moanalua Freeway, hitting the officer's motorcycle. Officers followed Stangle and arrested him just after 1 a.m. after he had pulled over on the H1 near IAEA. The alleged gunman is the son of a North Shore pastor, and his criminal record shows no signs of a violent history. KITV4 Shane Enright joins us live with more information on the suspected shooter. Shane? Good evening, Paula. A friend of the suspect's family says the family is in shock and is praying for the victims. Kids who grow up in church and, you know, sometimes they could be, people think they're more precocious than others. But the fact of the matter is, Toby was brought, brought up right. You know, he's brought up in the church. Toby Stangle was a long way from church this morning when Honolulu police officers brought him into the Pearl City Police Station. Stangle is accused of shooting three people, killing one in a crime spree that ended early this morning. Family friend Bob Prasser says Stangle didn't have a violent past and wasn't aware he had any drug problems. What would cause somebody to do such a senseless act of violence on, on, you know, and then continue it on? We have no idea. Stangle's father is a pastor at the North Shore Fellowship Church in Haleiwa. Neighbors say Stangle's parents are in Disneyland with their daughter's grandchildren. On behalf of the Stangle family, they're praying, they're grieving, and their hearts go out to those families who not only lost a loved one, but also the ones who are in the hospital. This is not Stangle's first encounter with the law. In 2004, he was charged with a felony firearm violation. He pleaded no contest to that charge, spent four years on probation, and his record was wiped clean. State records also show a list of five convictions, including two for driving under the influence of an intoxicant, one for driving without a license, and another for third-degree property damage, all misdemeanors or petty misdemeanors. Stangle also has seven speeding tickets tickets dating back to 2002. If this was a bar fight or if this was, you know, kids were out clubbing and they got into an altercation, at least it would make some sense. You know, a group of guys fighting and somebody, if something horribly went wrong, at least you would understand it. You know, why these ladies, you know, one had to die and why the other ones are in critical condition, it just makes no sense. Stangle is being held here tonight behind me at HPD headquarters where he awaits charges. Reporting live, Shane Enright, KITV4 News.